Today we're speedrunning through Dumb Ways to Die 2. And the speedrun we're going to be doing is getting 3 gold stars on every single level. So we'll go to Freezerville and start the speedrun as soon as we click on play. Then right away our first minigame is going to be sweeping, rubbing our finger on the screen. That one is nice and easy and we also get a time bonus. But not all of the levels are going to give us a time bonus like this one where all we can do is wait out time and not lick the pole instead of getting some ice cream. So we really do hope we get lucky and get the ones where we can get the time bonuses like this one. That's going to give us a 1.8 because we did it fast enough it's going to speed up and now we have some ski safety where we have to tilt to avoid all these obstacles not the hardest one in the world but yeah we just make it through and now we're in a hot tub so that's pretty cool our next one is going to be this leap one where we just have to tap avoid some cracks i mean not too much to say about this one but one thing i can explain is for each of these levels to get three stars we need to get to 1200 points and that mini game is going to help give us another times 1.4 before now we have to slap this penguin by tapping the screen repeatedly hit him the last time and we get another time bonus then we get another don't lick the pole the game really wants to give me this one it really wants me to lick that pole but i choose not to because i'm not gonna die in a dumb way and we'll get another leap after this my dude's just enjoying his figure skating and with this next game no matter what it is we should finish out so we have this yeti one again where we have to groom him take all this really gross stuff off this poor dude but there we go that is going to be 1200 points and now we can quit out and we have three stars as you see as soon as we make it out of there and now it's time for Adrenaland, where it's going to start with the Leprechaun one. And for this one, it's just another Leap one. Then after that, we're going to have to polish all this gold. And that one's a really fast one, so I always love getting it. And that time bonus is also nice. And then we also get another really fast one where we have to tap the screen enough to make our dude hit that and reveal chicken. Next one we get, oh, I do not like this one. We have to go and tie these ropes to make sure my dude doesn't die. I've messed that one up way too many times in my life. But at least we have this really easy one where, yeah, we get a car to explode, but at least we didn't die so it doesn't really matter to us and that's the important thing about this game you know even if someone dies at least you didn't die in a dumb way so that's pretty cool but let's see after this one we're gonna get the parachute one i really don't like these tilting ones because they can be a little weird but we're making it through and now we have a surfing one and this is one where you can really mess up because you do have to be a little careful about it make sure you don't just die or kill these other people and it's also a little bit long so not the best one for a speed run but we can finish that out and ruin that kid's sandcastle and we are only one point away so that was really sad now we're gonna have to do one extra mini game to make it to the three stars but at least it's an easy leprechaun one and now we can move on to the next stage which for this one it's going to be the summer stadium one and we start right away by making sure this dude doesn't swim directly after eating all you have to do is repeatedly pull him back it's kind of hilarious and then he gets too tired to walk anymore so that's an easy 100 point Points. Our next one is going to be plucking these feathers, which is a nice and fast one. Always love seeing those kinds of mini games. And now we have this lacing one. This is probably one of my least favorite mini games because you can seemingly do it perfectly and then it just doesn't work. But we got it done, so that doesn't really matter. And we get a waxing one that is extremely fast. And my dude is looking really good, let's be honest. And the coffee one, you have a lot to do for this one. There are a bunch of different buttons you have to press. And then you make your coffee and see, yeah, we have a bit of a line. But hey, now it's time for some soccer where we're going to dive do all these arrow things before flopping rip my dude it's going to speed up oh and this one is always very fun we have to fight dodge all these attacks he's going to keep trying to sweep us and pretty much just murder us completely but instead we're going to counter attack and murder him and we're almost done with this stage but we get the exact same one again i guess this animal guy just really wants to die oh and we get another pluck the feathers that is always an extremely fast one and this might be enough points and that is 1200 so now we can quit out as soon as we make it in here again sorry dude i guess you're gonna die because we don't really care about you anymore but i have to go over to drown town but before we make it there you will always get this screen where we have to count to 10 because it has some train safety stuff we'll get our safety bonus which you know is kind of just time loss but it happens and in drown town we start with riding the dolphin which is one that i almost messed up because my screen was tilted in the wrong place that could have been very bad but right after that we get an extremely fast one where all we have to do is dive in the pool and then we're gonna get this one where we have to make sure all these kids don't swim off and die pretty easy but we also did destroy that guy's sandcastle poor kid oh and then we have the one where we have to brush this animal's teeth and this is kind of hard actually because you can have a tiny spot left but we did get it done pretty fast and now we have this one where you have to walk never run while you're by a pool and also never do this um i don't know why we chose such shark infested waters 
to do our water sports, but we made it through. And then we have the swimming one where there are a bunch of piranhas that are trying to eat us. But if we can swim tap fast enough, we're going to be fine. We make it back here and you know, we might not have legs, but who cares about legs? Oh, and it's this one again, where all we have to do is slowly walk our way over here. Make sure we don't trip because it is actually surprisingly easy to. And oh, I love this mini game diving into the pool nice and fast. And that's going to give us a ton of points. So we only have to do one more mini game for this part, which is going to be the swim one one more time. Sorry, piranhas. You're just kind of bad at this video game. Now we will quit out, not save these kids before we make it to our next place, which which is going to be camp catastrophe but we also have to do that make sure that old person can make it through and our first mini game for this part is going to be catching all these fish which all we have to do is tap on the screen there's not too much to say about it but as soon as that's done you'll see that we have a lot of food and the poor bear got none of it and after this we have to do a race where we jump on this tree make it to the top and you can see i don't really know how we're gonna get down but i guess it's fine then we have to rub our fingers together make a fire some of these it's like oh that's a dumb way to die and then you do something that would probably Probably cause you to die like not giving the bear food yeah and it doesn't matter I'm just gonna cook my marshmallow and move on but now we have to tap in time with the music which this is my least favorite mini game and yeah I also messed it up but it was pretty fast so it's not gonna waste that much time and we get a really fast one right after that where we don't even get to eat our food so that's kind of sad but then we swing and chop this tree down it almost completely kills us but it didn't and we get to do it twice in a row then we have this one where we're gonna rub our fingers together again get this fire have a fiery butt and that is almost going to be enough but we will need one more mini game where we're going to play frogger and we also sit on an alligator's head which is kind of hilarious but hey we made it to the end so we'll quickly quit out and go into area 50 dumb where first of all we have to rotate this satellite and make sure my dude can watch his tv then we have to launch this right at zero which is pretty easy and you can see this dude he has an entire rocket just to make it home after this we have to make sure that our cows don't die which is one of the easiest mini games in the game <laughs> all we do is drag them down once but then they also take my house but that doesn't matter for our fourth mini game we have to capture a picture of an alien nice and easy and then after this we have to match the guts of these two people so they're not just rearranged in some weird way a little scary with that and this one is also a little scary because this mini game can completely destroy you the tea can go in a random place but we got very lucky and we can continue the run now it's time to float basically for this one we just want to ignore the toxic bubbles and the gravity is really weird in this level so if we got unlucky it could have been very bad oh we also destroyed it's sand castle again i feel so bad for him but hey we get the exact same thing twice in a row next we're gonna get this cow one again but this time we have three cows it's still just as easy though and then finally we have to do this matching the guts one more time it's a little more complicated but still pretty easy and that is going to be it time to move on to the next stage which is going to be the dungeon and to start out we just have to hold our phone still make sure we don't move a muscle so we can get this nice sword and there we go now we're a cool dude after this we have to go and paint this dragon nails because you know dragons like to look pretty too and even give us a kiss then we have to stir this pot make sure we have a nice and tasty burger because that's how burgers are made next it's time to do some jousting and we just completely murder a penguin so sorry about that man but you deserved it before we stretch this dude because we really want to make him taller i promise it's okay he's happy like this after that we're gonna go run away from a bunch of rats but at this point we are almost done we have to eat all this meat so these other guys can't eat our meat we can be nice and happy before doing the exact same thing again which is nice because this is a really fast one and now we just have this one last stage where we have to joust one more time kill the penguin and now we can leave again before making it to the very last stage the dum dome and for this one to start out we have to avoid these fences it's not too bad though we just jump over them next we're gonna do a vaulting one where we have to swipe up and try to make it over this but we actually fail but at least we didn't die to lightning and then we do this one where we give a guy dynamite and yeah we just murdered that man but that doesn't matter because I have way too much stuff to do. I got to spin, build up some power and make sure I don't die. Probably someone else died, but I'm not really going to worry about them. That's the main moral of this game. Before we get another lace up one, which again, I do not like these. I almost actually messed it up, but thankfully we got it and didn't lose any time. Only a few more now. After this, we're going to do the sprinting one. Everyone wants to make it to the end, but they also suck. All right, we are so close to beating the game. Now we have the avoid the javelins one, which really isn't that bad. All we have to do is slightly move over. And my dude's actually sad that he didn't die, I guess. But it's time to lace up one more time. And also my fingers i do not know what just happened but we made it let's just not worry about it. let's keep going on okay 
We have another electricity fence jump. This one's a little bit faster, but it isn't too bad. And we only need one more stage. I just have to make sure I don't mess up, which it's another vaulting one. So nice and easy. We made it to the end. Now we're going to end off time as soon as I quit out of the game, which is going to be right now. And there we go. You can see that every single one of these stages now has three stars and we got world record because no one else has ever done the speed run.